What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm Jared. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. This is the LVME. We're doing a smoking reaction today to the homie Mad Child. It's a little late to the game on this one. The song's been out about four weeks. It's called Skull Mask. It is another collaboration between him and Obnoxious from their upcoming album, which is scheduled to release on December 2nd, which is uh, just a few days uh, the next week from when I'm recording this. So, uh, or this upcoming weekend. Uh, I'm pretty excited to hear this one. In fact, so much so that I want to go ahead and read the description for this album and this video here off of the YouTube uh, video. I can just see it better here on my phone than on the computer screen right there. So listen, before I dive into that, though, listen, if you're brand new to this channel, I'm going to pause this video that we're about to watch. We're going to talk about the bars. We're going to talk about the music, the vibe, all kinds of stuff. If that bothers you because maybe you have not heard Skull Mask from Mad Child and Obnoxious yet, then please click on the link right down there in the description. Bounce over to Mad Child's channel. Listen to the song. Give him a sub, a like. If you're down with it, then come back over here. Hang out with us. If you're down with a little bit of smoking, if that's cool with you, then you join in. If not, you do your thing. In the meantime, though, we are going to peep this out, and we're going to start with this description here. It says... Mad Child and Obnoxious have joined forces to create a new joint album, Mobsters and Monsters. Mad Child and Obnoxious set out to make a classic, dark hip-hop record. I like the sound of that shit. The duo recorded the songs that make up Mobsters and Monsters over the span of a year and a half. Well, they've been putting in some work. They allowed themselves to keep making songs and creating until they came up with 11 songs that make up the final release. The first single, Blackout, was produced by Sea Lance, and the video was directed by King Zabib. The first single and video set a tone for the record and includes features from Sick Jackin. Yeah, I watched that one with Sick Jackin. That was a that was a dirty joint right there. I like that a lot. Uh, Henry A. Z. and Ouija Mac. Mobsters and Monsters is due out December second, twenty twenty two, and released via Suburban Noise Records, who have released classic hip hop albums from La Coca Nostra. Saigon and Swollen Members, just to name a few. You can get autographed albums and merch at omgmadchild.com. There's going to be a bunch of info in the description on my video on that stuff too, all right? Now, I got this little uh, disposable here. I'm going to be hitting on this little disposable vape pen. Um, you know, I normally don't fuck with these things, but I got one. It is what it is. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, let's bring this up. All right. Make sure we got this here for you. Um, let's make this full screen over here. I've been liking this whole vibe that these guys have on this video, though. I really got to say. Oops, we're All right, everybody. I like it. I like the gangster vibe. If if you if you've been rocking with this channel at all, then you know. Uh, I am down with the gangster kind of hip-hop music. It's my favorite. This has been a real vibe so far with these tracks he's done with Obnoxious. Uh, Obnoxious is new to me. I hadn't heard of this cat before he started releasing this music he would match out, so I'm excited. I've been pretty impressed with what's been released so far, and I'm excited about this one, and I am definitely going to be grabbing a copy of Mobsters and Monsters. So let's see what, uh, what up here. With the homie Mad Child and obnoxious skull mask. Okay, I probably should have checked that before I started the video. Sorry. Better turn that down a little bit with that bass drop. Jesus. All right, that should be a lot better now. Let's go back here, pop it back. All right, everybody, let's try that again. I like that he said, I'm not here to play the game, I'm here to win the Super Bowl. Couple mobsters, icicles, something. I want to hear that again. But I like to, instead of just saying, you know, he's not here just to win the game, he's here to win the big game, the fucking Super Bowl. 
And I'll say right away, um, I dig the beat. Um, when Mad Child puts out music that I don't like, it's always 99% of the time. There's not a lot that he puts out I don't like, but the ones I don't, it has to do with the music, not his voice. I love his voice. He's always on point lyrically. He's one of the most skillful rappers in the game, and I'm not specifying that based on the color of his skin at all. I'm talking across the board. I mean, Matchov's like 47 years old or some shit. He's been in the game forever. 45. Sorry if I aged you a couple of years. But th this is this sounds fucking dope right here. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. He says, Psycho spitting icicles by group code. Writing that with Super Bowl. That's nice. Hit you in the head and use your skull top as a soup bowl. I like that because it ties back into Super Bowl. It's almost a homonym. Super Bowl, Super Bowl. It's very close. It's not a rhyme, but it's very close. I really dig it. Matt Child does a lot of that. Matt Child uses homonyms or similar things very often in his music. Um, homonym, if you're unaware of, uh, is a um, word that sounds, it's the same word to different meanings. This is banging so far, though. It's all recoupable. I'm not here to play the game. I'm here to win the Super Bowl. Couple mobsters, cycles, spitting ice to cause my group cold. Crack you in the head and use your skull top as a soup bowl. It's Ronnie, we got Ronnie Goons, a serious trust. While we moving through that powder like Siberian Husky. Yes. Angry Spurs back, every line I spit to low. He said moving through the powder like Siberian Huskies. I like that. The powder in this instance being the, the fucking snow that Huskies are cruising through. I like that. Let's pick a little bike. Dude, this is a whole little G vibe going on right here. It looked like a couple fucking gangsters got the old school fucking bike. I like the whole vibe of this video. <coughs> I like the fish eye here. Ah, he said every line I spit's a low blow. Money don't grow on trees. I guess you never seen a grow show. Ah, nice. He said, always smoke that OG Kush. He got a fat sack. He's building on that grow show. If you don't know what OG Kush is, it is a type of cannabis. Uh, OG Kush is a backbone strain to the West Coast cannabis scene. Uh, it is in the mix of so many different strains and the genealogy of so many different strains. It's really, it's a backbone strain of West Coast cannabis, like I just said. Dude, this is what I mean when I say that he is a he is a top notch rapper. Listen, listen to this bar right here. Listen to this bar. Okay, right here. He says backpack rappers that'll jack you for your backpack. Almost an, again a, another almost homonym because he's using the term backpack rappers as a different thing than actually you know jacking them for their backpack. So that that's nice. But then I like this bar right here. The boys' voices get louder and boisterous. That's a nice rhyme. And then he says, you should clam up before we turn your brain into oysters. So back-to-back -back seafood references right there. And then the oysters ties right back into the boisterous. That's in the voices, boisterous, oysters, clam up, oysters. Fucking excellent writing. And he's still carrying on with the oysters. I mean, it's slightly off, but that's still, to me, a very acceptable rhyme. He's talking about holsters and vultures. 
a, a good rapper can rhyme, rhyme, you know, oysters and holsters and vultures just fine. Composure. Oh, oh, he said, I try to be civil, but I got eyes in the back of my head. It's on a swivel. Ah, ah. This is classic vintage mad child that I dig. Like this, this is my speed right here, homie. This is, this is dope. Mm hmm. I like that he came in with the chorus like right after match but it was slightly different same like topics but it just it's slightly different that was real nice i'd have to go back to catch all the differences but <coughs> that was a nice way that was a nice way for obnoxious to come into the track kind of taking over the second half of the chorus and not repeating it exactly but very similar let's run that back that was dope these two were fucking good together. Damn blacksmith, he don't even dance, but the gag make him back. Keep a squad full of killers, circle of trust. Put these rappers to sleep, fits like purple and cuss. Suckers claiming they thugs, they just irk with us. Must got that in your where that gerbil is tough. All the okay, wait. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta hear this one more time, hold up. Circle of trust, put... Keep a squad full of killers, circle of trust. Put these rappers to sleep, fists like purple and cuss. Fists, put these rappers to sleep, fists like purple and cuss is what it sounded like. Suckers claiming they thugs, they just... Suckers claiming they thugs, they just... They, they just urkel to us. That's what I thought he said. Suckers claiming they thugs, they just urkel to us. If you don't know who Urkel is, that is uh, Steve Urkel from Family Matters. Where you been? You're not down with the Family Matters. You don't know. I did that. Did I do that? That's what it was. Did I do that? That shit. Mr. I swear to God, it sounded, he's, it sounded like he's referencing a gerbil up somebody's. I'm pretty certain. So he's aiming for your dome, but you can't fit your head inside that bulletproof vest. He's aiming for your dome. I like it. That's hard. Let's run that back. That, that's hard. That's dope. Said you was the next best thing last week. Now you old. That happens a lot in the rap game. This is this is a fucking sick track right here. This is banging. I like it a lot, a lot. Cause on trails like bloodhounds, what now? You was hot for a minute, but now you cold. Next best thing last week. Now you old. It's the soul to the music, the feeling that can't be sold. My it's the soul to the music, the feeling that can't be sold. I feel that with these guys, like uh. When it's real, you feel it, like like Kid Rock famously puts in all of his music, and it's basically, you know, if it's if it's if it sounds good, you'll like it. If it if it sounds good, you'll listen to it. Whatever it feels good. 
point is, if it feels good, if, it, if it's real, Jesus Christ, if it's real, you'll feel it. Like, these dudes are real, and you can feel it. They're not some fucking posers. That's like, like in the country rap game, for instance, like, it seems like, like, uh, the labels try to come in with, like, a pop star and a famous rapper and mash together some funky country song, and they can't do it. Nobody buys that shit, because it ain't real, and you can feel it. These dudes are real. You can feel it. That's what's up. That's what I'm trying to say with my mumbling mouth. Bloodhounds, what now? You was hot for a minute, but now you cold. Next best thing last week, now you're old. It's the soul to the music, the feeling that can't be sold. Microphone fiend, need beats to overdose. Focal close to me and mad boy, we bigger than Titans. Want the whole cake, and not just the tip of the icing. Smack the speakers off the stand, I'm kicking the mic, and it's like the Aztec warriors just click with the Vikings. I light your stage up, DJ get it hit with your hype man, and turn around at your fans to get it hit with the mic stand. Got a strap on my lap, we're sitting in bad traffic. My life is a movie, they can get mad graphics. Strap on my lap, we're sitting in bad traffic. Like a strap on my lap while I'm sitting in mad traffic. My life is a movie, it can get mad graphic. That's, I like it. It's a movie. I like the graffiti back there. Speaking of which, you might notice the graffiti behind me. Oh, shit. Sorry. So autoplay so quick. Good. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jeez. Sorry about that, everybody. I mean, I could edit that out, but I don't really do much editing on these. Try to keep it real. Um, man, man, oh, man. I loved everything about what we just watched and listened to. That beat was fire. Their rhymes were on point. They were intricate. They were interesting. They were tough. They were delivered expertly. That shit was on point. I like it. I like it. I like it. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to pre-order this album. I hope that everything is good with the release on this. I hope it's going to come with a CD. I would rather order a straight-up CD. I just like getting that shit these days. Like, I got his last one, Super Beast, autographed. It's cool. We started doing that, it seems, after, like, uh, his one he did with Tom. I got that one, too. The Killing of Neighbors, that one's autographed. Like, I, I dig that. I like the memorabilia. I'm hoping that we get that kind of release. I haven't looked into it a whole lot other than to see, you know, what comes out on uh, December 2nd. There'll be links in the description. Follow them if you're interested in that as well. And, oh, I was telling you about the graffiti behind me. These are all that you're going to see on this video, my videos going forward. These are all original photos taken by uh, a very good friend of mine who went out to New York and hit five points in several other major graffiti zones. Uh, before they were all torn down and got hundreds and hundreds of photos of some of the dopest fucking graffiti you've ever seen in your life. Shit that is gone right now. All that's left are photos uh, such as these you see behind you. So I like uh, in the end of that video there, he had the little skull mask um, done up like graffiti style. That shit's cool. I like it. I'm really looking forward to this album. I'm going to put up uh, here at the end of the video, you're going to see links to my other Mad Child reactions if you're a fan. As well, I'm a big fan of Mad Child. You can check those out. Hope you buy his album. I, I really am looking forward to this one. If you like the channel, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, and I will hit you back up in the comments. If you got questions, if you opinions, if you think I'm right, you think I'm wrong, you think this shit was whatever you want to talk about, hit me up, and I will uh, get back to you as much as I possibly can. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you all in the next one. All right, later.